Hello guys, this is the last part of my of my uh, restoration videos uh, regarding this I hope beautiful Honda CX 500 C. I've been waiting f with this video for some time in order to make sure that all the jobs I did on this bike were done let's say correctly. Um, I know that uh, a lot of work was done in a highly unprofessional manner. Um, I sometimes felt like a dilettante doing things, but it was the first project and sort of a, a little challenge for me, so I am satisfied. Professional mechanics who probably also watched the video uh, must have thought that I am really a totally stupid crazy person but to be honest I don't care I just wanted to try to uh, fix repair and renovate an old bike during winter so um, anyway as for the as for the jobs which were done the worst ever thing which I did to this bike was the mechanical seal. I was really afraid especially of this thing because I had to use a grinder to grind uh, manually a bigger hole for the mechanical seal because the size of the mechanical seal this bike used to have is not in production anymore and they make if I remember correctly two millimeters larger seal in diameter so uh, I grind it manually a hole in this and use used uh, temperature resistant uh, um, silicon to seal it and uh, this is probably the main reason I waited for some hundreds of kilometers to be sure that uh, everything's fine and uh, it is actually and I'm really very happy about that because uh, because uh, grinding something in a in an engine by hand, sealing it with uh, silicon, it doesn't really sound too good. And uh, and uh, but I didn't want to go to to professionals to to grind it on a CNC machine or whatever. I just wanted to try it and I was in the risk of buying this rear seals, the real rear, rear uh, uh, lid if it doesn't work but uh, after 300 kilometers I can say that uh, the job was done relatively well because uh, there is no oil in the coolant and there is no water in uh, in uh, in oil and also so far there is no water no oil in the weep, weep hole which is which is between the the oil seal and the mechanical seal so i guess this part works fine as for the others there these were not so difficult and bad to do because uh, I didn't cut grind anything in the engine block it was just a check and and fix but this mechanical seal that was a nightmare to me you may probably see the troubles I had with the first starting of the bike uh, this cylinder didn't have any compression but uh, it fixed itself after riding a couple of miles so I guess the piston rings were just stuck a bit and at the moment the only thing I see as a as a problematic on this bike is right fork because it's leaking 
uh, so I will reseal it. It's an it's an easy job, and uh, the bike will be will be fine. I hope. So um, this is the conclusion on. Uh, no, not yet actually. When I ride, I feel that uh, the uh, the mufflers sound quite strange. Uh, I'm not going to do anything about it uh, till winter, but uh, I will probably have to find some aftermarket mufflers or I don't know, maybe try to disassemble them or uh, do something in order to make it sound not so loud but um, as i see from the from the engraving here they look like originals so after 40 years and 80000 kilometers i think they the inside of the mufflers will be will be dead so uh, this is the only thing almost the only thing i will do after after the whole renovation project project also i will change the the levers here because there is they are they are both different and um, that is probably it another thing which could be done theoretically is to have all the chromed parts uh, done again like this one but uh, having having something chromed again takes so much time it's like maybe several months before the company which is doing it here uh, sends the parts back that I will probably give up on this and leave it as it is so um, if anyone watched the re renovation videos um, I can say everything worked everything I've done in the videos worked there was no major issue and I can say to myself that uh, simple renovation of a bike can be done in a home workshop using standard tools because no special Honda tools were used I know that uh, maybe some of the bolts are not tightened to the specified specified torque, but um, I will not bother about it. I believe that most of the parts, mo most, of, most of the crucial parts inside the engine uh, were done well and to specified torque, so uh, I will leave it as it is and ride it and occasionally check if, if the mechanical seal which is still mm, a bit of a nightmare to me and and I think this is the only thing which can break uh, because it wasn't done professionally it was done like a dilettante job uh, would, would or could theoretically break so thanks for watching all the videos and um, stay on the road, thanks.